I mean, the one thing about what our family does starting the distribution business at Sarasby Seafoods is, you know, there's something to be said about getting a product that was at the bottom of the ocean earlier this morning and then on a plate that afternoon. My grandpa started fishing lobster back when he was about 16, and he quit fishing lobster in San Diego at the age of 83. That was a couple years back, and since then, you can't get him off the boat. He still goes out with my dad. Who we are a sustainable seafood company specializing specifically in local products caught by my family. And we're able to provide a product that literally my dad wakes up in the morning, 5 a.m., he's fishing, he's catching fish from the bottom of the ocean, he's bringing it in by 2, 3 in the afternoon and we're getting it onto people's plates. My name's Tanner Saraspi. I'm the owner and founder of Saraspi Seafoods. Today we're gonna do a baked oyster with bacon compound butter. You can also grill the oysters with this recipe. The way we're gonna do it today is we're gonna use rock salt, baste the pan, and we're gonna create like this beautiful sizzling oyster dish that is really honestly great for people that don't like raw oysters. This recipe is great because it incorporates bacon, butter, and cheese, and you can't go wrong with that. So we look forward to having you try it, and this recipe is pretty easy, and it's such a great holiday recipe. This recipe, is one of a kind and that you can pull it out of the oven, it'll be sizzling and they'll be gone in an instant. We're gonna use one stick of Kerrygold unsalted butter and we're gonna put it inside this bowl. That's how we start it off. In this recipe, we cook the shallots in the bacon grease, bacon fat, which is so great for flavor. We're gonna chop two shallots and this is gonna go in the bacon fat. Once the shallots are cooked soft in the bacon fat, we're gonna transfer it to the bowl with the butter. So here we have a bowl with butter. We're gonna add the minced garlic to this bowl. Next, we're gonna stir in the shallots into the butter and garlic. Now we're gonna add our bacon to the bowl. You know, bacon's good with everything. Next, we're gonna stir in the minced garlic. Now we're gonna chop some parsley, and you can use the stems. Chop them fine, and then we're gonna add it in with the mixture. Now we're gonna use juice from one lemon. You can use Pecorino Romano. In this case, we're using Parmesan. salt and pepper. Okay. Mix it together well, thoroughly. Okay, I'm positioning the saran wrap on the bottom and then I'm gonna put parchment paper over the top. And then we're gonna scoop, I'm gonna use a bigger spoon. We're gonna take like dollops of this lengthwise. Now we're gonna roll up the compound butter into a burrito in the parchment paper. And then we're gonna tie off the edges. Form it to shape. And then we're gonna wrap it up. In this case, we use rock salt, um, actually ice cream salt to be exact. Um, this really stabilizes the oyster when you're gonna put them in the oven. So, you know, for example, you're gonna keep them up and down so the good juices don't fall out of the shell. Um, when you're grilling them, you know, putting them like this and transferring them to the grill is great because you can stick them in between the grill plates so they don't fall over. Otherwise, I mean, you could just put them on a sheet pan, but you just wanna be careful with them. These oysters are Minter Sweet Oysters. They come from Henderson Bay in Washington. So. This shucker, you're gonna to wanna to stick it 
right in this little crevice right here. And we like to use a tea towel just to provide yourself with some protection and keep it from slipping. So you're gonna stick it right in there. Using the tea towel to kind of stabilize, get some leverage and pop it right up, just like that. And you wanna kind of take the blade, go around the edge here to disconnect it from the top shell. And then you wanna flip the oyster over, disconnect it here. You disconnect it from the abductor muscle of the bottom shell and you flip it over and you wait about five minutes to let it rest and it releases all the juice. And it gives it that fancy restaurant look when you flip it over. We're gonna rest them on the salt before we put the compound butter on top of them and then pop them in the oven. So now we're gonna unwrap the compound butter that was in the freezer for about five, 10 minutes. Now we're gonna cut them into little circles and we're gonna put them on each oyster. You can use Pecorino Romano, in this case we're using Parmesan. It's all personal preference. You wanna put a little hefty amount on each oyster. Before cooking, set your grill to high heat or your oven to 450 degrees. If baking, set the sheet directly into the oven and bake for five to seven minutes or until the oysters are bubbling and the cheese is melted. You'll know when they're done. If grilling, use tongs to place oysters directly on the grill and cook until the butter bubbles and the cheese is melted. Serve immediately. This recipe is really great. If you break it down, it's really oysters, bacon, butter, cheese, a little bit of herbs. I mean, you can't go wrong.